Welcome back to Undertale. This is John of the Bias Holes. This is probably going to be a... God damn this mouse. I keep putting it there. I got It just bugs me. Oh god, I gotta take this off too. Just taking off all my clothes. Get a little more seductive. No, I'm just taking off my jacket. I was wearing it for... Unknown reason. You were gonna die. You were such a idiot. And I was gonna talk about... I'm dying earlier. How far away is it to replace my CT? I'm just gonna try one more time and then I'll switch my CT for something else. I'm going. Getting that cinnamon bunny. Getting rid of this fucking CT. I'm gonna fast forward through that, just skip cut. Come on. Okay, I'm back. I should have definitely taken something. I'm just gonna try to 
than I thought it would be. Do, 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 do. Wow. Ugh. Please don't make me fight anything. I am out of healing items right now. <laughs> One thing I'm proud of, but I beat it way faster than that guy I was watching play. So, suck it, guy I was watching play. Welcome. T. I think it's supposed to move, but it doesn't because everyone's gone. Don't need that. 40? Jesus Christ. Oh! I thought you would have died. Gone. Okay. Ooh, dog food, my favorite. It's Metaton. Oh, there you are, you ugly little creature. You've made quite a name of for yourself. Such infamy, I'm impressed. Oh, yes, if you're looking for Alpha, she's not here. While you were busy doing your <laughs> thing, she was running around evacuating people to safety. Now they're in, now you're in a place where you'll that now they're in a place you will never get to them. Deciding not to fight you. My, my, she really is once only smart, the only smart one, isn't she? Oh, how sassy. You're just itching to get your hands on me, aren't you? Mm, yes. Well, too bad. I think it's supposed to be T-O-O-B-A-D. This world needs stars more than it needs corpses. Toddler? No, toodles, God. It's just here to complete the walk. No, do I get you? Is there a picture of your relationship? Hmm, it's very safe. Oh, it's pretty enough. Is there any way? Is there any way? Is there any way? Is there any way? I've opened these right seats. I've opened my mind. 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 I'm not sure else everyone would have to do these stupid puzzles. Shit. You're here, so that means undying. She's, like, undying. We'll avenge you! <sighs> Whew! 
Oh, one, you. You won. I earned a lot of XP. I'm actually arachnophobic. I, I don't know if I've said this in any of the videos. I am terrified of spiders. And they like to tear their legs off. Now, I usually just swat them with something and then wrap them up and run away. And stop it. I heard that they have some awful taste. What a shame. A human come through and they aren't even fit to be eaten. Oh well. Rotten ingredients can always be discarded. Okay. <laughs> A flower for your lost queen? Uh, I didn't like her as a character, but that's kind of sad. What, are you gonna flip me off? You won, and earned 3,000 XP, and my love increased. Jesus Christ, I didn't expect her to be that easy. Ah. A performance by Metaton. What light on yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. I mean, Metaton is the sun. What's this thingy? Ooh. Hi, Metaton. My, my. Uh, my, my. So you finally arrived. After our first meeting, I realized something ghastly. You're not just a threat to monsters, but to humanity as well. Oh, my. That's an issue. You see, I can't be star a star without an audience. And besides, there are some people I want to protect. Ah, eager, as always, eh? But don't touch the dial, there's something you haven't accounted for. As the true fan would know, I first I was first created as a human eradication robot. It was 
only after becoming a star that I was given more photo a more photogenic body. Yes. However, those original functions have never been fully removed. Come any closer and I will be forced to show you my true form. Oh. Fine then. Ready? It's showtime. I know the exact voice I want to use for Metaton. It's true form. Oh. This isn't the form I remember. Oh. Guess you won't join my fan club. That was too easy. I'm a super badass! Technically, I was supposed to kill Undying in one hit. So, where does this go? Ah! Okay. So, it really does just lead right here. Oh, well, that blows. Wish I had known that. Now well. Tra la 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 la. Let's to get to where I think our next next boss. That one is supposed to be a boss battle, but I guess not. I guess Undying was the supposed to be one of the oh, Jesus Christ. Or do you want pets first? Oh. Sorry, one second. Okay. Uh, just a little further and then we'll stop for so now. The elevator isn't working. To where I, I'm almost 100% sure where the next boss fight should be. It's supposed to be my execution, I think. And... Apparently, it is an execution of a fight. I don't know, that's... It's either Asgore or this next fight that you're supposed to use the pie for. And I'm gonna need some space, because I think, like, the ultimate weapon is in this room. It's in here somewhere. It's gonna be just as fun. Oh, Flowey, you're scaling me. You took the key and put it in your phone keychain. But I, I shouldn't have the phone. I remember when I first woke up here, you got it. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. My death, somebody help me, I can do. But nobody came. Okay, let's, I've got one of the keys for this, I guess. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? You got the locket. And this is, like, supposed to be the ultimate weapon in the game or something. The locket. Oh, no, it's the ultimate defense. I thought, what is the ultimate weapon then? I can't remember. Right where it belongs. Uh, this was the ultimate weapon, the real knife. Okay. Well, I won't be needing this cowboy hat anymore. Hardly needed it at all. Uh, yeah. The real knife. Instead of that toy knife I had at the beginning. Weapon attack. Whew! And this, and these final bosses are still gonna be as hard as hell? About time. Room under renovations. Oh, here's the other key. Oh, another flowey. Eventually, the king found me, crying in the garden. I explained what had happened to him, and he helped me, John. He helped me with tears in his eyes, saying, There, there. Everything is going to be alright. He was so emotional. But, for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. Okay, one second. sister. It's about time for her to get home. Okay. You 
took the key and put it in your phone keychain. Who uses this? Still has this sweater. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzler champ nine ninety-eight. Nothing useful. Wow, I'm so a king sized bed. The entries are always the same. My text goes red, but apparently I'm just that evil or something. Dusty toys. Our clothes. Dot dot dot. My bed. His bed. <laughs> it doesn't even tell you who he is. I'm gonna go save. I unlocked the chain. The day I came here. Because I'm gonna be talking to Flowey a lot. I soon realize I didn't feel anything about anyone. Or competing to disappear. Or was it compassion? Sorry. And believe me. It's not like I was so trying. It wasn't weeks. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. But it became too much for me. I ran away from home. Where are your feet? Eventually, I reached the moons. Inside, I found her, John. I thought of all people, she could make me feel whole again. She failed. <laughs> I realized those two were useless. I became dis... Despondent. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. John, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow you in your footsteps. I would erase myself from existence, and you know what? I succeeded! to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... Something primal starts to burn inside me. No, I thought, I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the car. Back at my save point. Because Flowey has the ability to save and stuff. Interested, I decided to experiment. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point, I could have let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, John? I was amazed, too. At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. I solved all their problems all See, he's going through how it should be done, that you do the pacifist ending first, and then you do the genocide ending or something. Their companionship was amusing for a while. As the time being, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. Oh god. I can't take much more of this, Flowey. It all started because I was curious. Curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. <laughs> what an excuse! You of all people know, must know how liberating it is to act this way. At least you're better than those sickos that stand around and watch it happen. Those pathetic people that want to see it back... See it, but are too weak to do it themselves. I bet someone like you... Someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? Oh God, Flavio, shut the fuck up. Nowadays, even that's grown tiring. You understand, John. I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book. I've burned every book. I've won every game. I've lost every game. I've appeased everyone. i killed everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of diagonals. I've seen them all. But you... You're different. I never could predict you, John. That's not true. You have an algorithm to predict what I would do. When I saw you in the rooms, I didn't recognize you. I said I could have frightened you, then steal your soul. I failed. And when I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. 
job. Your determination. Somehow it's even greater than mine. I just have one question for you, John. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left and decided to give you a proper burial rather than hanging out in the basement forever. Aye. But why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? How much more? It doesn't matter now. I'm so tired of this, John. I'm tired of all these people. I'm tired of all these places. I'm tired of being a flower. John, there's just one thing that I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. No. Let's see what humanity is really like. That, despite it all, is going to still kill or be killed. Then, well, I had. And in entertaining a few ways to use this power, that power. <laughs> <laughs> but seeing you changed my mind. John, I think if you're around, just living in the surface world doesn't seem so bad. Oh my god, Chloe, shut the fuck up! You don't even need to leave to get this them this time. The king has six of them blocked away. I tried hundreds of ways to get him to show me them. He just won't! John, I know he'll do it for you. Yeah, because he's going to try and use them to kill me. Probably. Why am I telling you all of this? John, I said it before. Even after all this time, you're still the only one who under that understands me. You won't give me any worthless pity. Oh, really? That sounds like a challenge. Should I mercy you? No, I'm going for genocide. All creatures like us won't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. There's a philosopher who believed in that, that humans are innately evil and would kill each other instead of cooperate. So, so that's, so that's why. <laughs> What's this feeling? Why am I sh shaking? Hey, John. No hard feelings about back then, right? <laughs> what are you doing? Back off! I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> I've changed my mind about all this. This isn't a good idea anymore. You should go back, John. This place is fine the way it is. Stop making that creepy face! This isn't funny! You've got a sick sense of humor. Okay. He knows why I should back off. I think. Okay. Don't think that was the way I wanted. Okay. Is this elevator usable? If not, then. Nope, it is. I'll just leave it back here. Great. Okay, so. This is where I'm going to stop it. Ooh, an hour and 38 minutes of recording, and a lot of it's going to be fast-forwarded, so we'll cut it back to about an hour, probably. Anyways, thank you for watching. John of the Biasholes saying bye-bye to you all. Bye. Can I murder you all?